you have it. First tick on the index, Nifty holding firm above the 21,000 mark. The mid-cap index is having a better showing, actually 175 points in the green right now. Advanced decline ratio very strong at almost 2,000 stocks on the advancing side. Let's take it straight to the winners. You have Maruti Suzuki, which is topping the charts half a percent higher. HDFC Life, Hindalco, Adani Enterprises and m and are a couple of other stocks that are trending in the green right now. Let's also take a look at some of these FMCG names. ITC is looking pretty good, half a percent higher on ITC. And what's um, you know leading from the front on the downside? BPCL, ONGC, Infosys, LNT, Bharti, Etel, and Titan. These are a couple of names that are in the red as we speak. Um, so don't lose sight of that. But the fall in Infosys is not too much, honestly. Yes. It's about a 1% cut and we were talking about that as to how it could be used as a buying opportunity by long-term investors considering IT is back on the buyer's radar. So now it's cutting its losses, less than a 1% cut. Would be interesting to see how that plays out. But all the action definitely is in the mid-cap space. Huge moves coming into names like Irida once again. So that's where the focus area is. Well, that's right. So now just one point on BPCL. It's actually gone X dividend. So 21 rupees is the dividend paid out there. X of that, actually, the stock is more or less flattish. That's about one of those frontline names in there. Stocks that are in focus and stocks that are running away. Irida, as Sonia mentioned, the top traded stock. That's flying away as we speak. Sterling and Wilson, well, uh, uh, the news break was confirmed that we had put out earlier. They've launched a QIP to raise close to around 1,500 crores. Demand appears to be pretty good. That stock, in fact, is up close to around 5%, locked in upper circuit. JNK Bank, the QIP was launched for 750 crores. <coughs> Extremely strong response is what we've got. You know, so that one, in fact, is up close to around 5%. Spandana Spurti, they had a meet yesterday and they're expecting weekly disbursements to increase to 75 to 80% from around 7% by, uh, twi- by uh, FY28. So that stock as well is doing well. BLS International, they backed a new contract in Canada. So that one as well is up close to around 4%. Mankind Pharma, sources were indicating there's likely to be a seller today. Yes, the selling has come about because the block has uh, happened on the screen. So that stock's down close to around 4.5%. But now we'll have to see how the global indices reject. There could be some inflows owing to higher free float. So that's going to be an important one as well for the time being the stock down close to around 4.5%. Prashant. Well, uh, you know, it's a, a flattish kind of start. Uh, so 18 points, 17, 18 points on the Nifty is what we have. And uh, I think you've got the Nifty Bank, which isn't really uh, doing very much. It's uh, dithering about a quarter percent higher, but nothing to complain. Momentum, of course, uh, naturally does slow down a little bit, even as the market inches higher, continues to inch higher. You know, we were talking about IREDA with Abnish earlier. Uh, you know, it's just uh, it's doubled basically from 50 rupees last month. It's now 100 bucks. Uh, so, and uh, as I said, at about almost three times F525 price to book uh, on uh, IREDA. It's a renewable story. People want a piece of. IRFC is another one which is up about 3% from the PSU space, but different segment, of course. RVNL is up about 2%. So these railway stocks, they did well uh, in trade uh, yesterday, and I think that continues today. Dixon, Dixon, by the way, has taken out uh, the highs, the previous highs after almost a gap of two years or so. And it took it out, I think, day before yesterday with the recent move. It's traded above it. I mean, it's been a fantastic week so far for Dixon. And that's another 5% or so. As we said, we have the management joining us in a bit from now. Sterling and Wilson Solar, that has had a one-way move from 250 kind of levels. Stocks at about 450 on uh, Sterling and Wilson. So there again, the QIP, but I mean, uh, you know, strong demand, etc. JNK Bank, we've already mentioned. BLS, uh, which is the, you know, visa processing company, that is about 5% higher, 310. Gandhar Oil had a... A decent listing. It was up 5% yesterday. It's following up with another 4% this morning. And I think we mentioned Fedfina, uh, Spandana we mentioned. Inox Green is coming up with about a 5.5% pop. Uh, and you've got something like a GIC RE, which is coming up with about a 4% gain uh, as well. So it's not a bad looking screen at all. On the downside, I think uh, bulk of it we've already mentioned. Uh, with tube investments, perhaps, keep an eye, 3% lower. It's got volumes, 37.72. And I think yesterday as well, the stock was uh, slightly under pressure.